Howdy from Texas. This is Andy. This is a quick follow-up video to part one, how to diagnose a bad control board uh, dealing with fan motors. Whenever I made that video, the board had actually failed, so the voltages did not show up on my meter as I was doing my test, but I wanted to give you just a, a baseline test here on a fully functioning board so you can see what the meter should look like as you're doing these, uh, doing these tests. So the fridge is plugged in. Be careful not to touch anything on the board with your bare hands. What you'll do is uh, in the J2 plug, which is this one here, your black lead goes where the white wires are. That's pin number three. And then your red lead all the way over to the far right is pin number eight. Should be a red wire coming in. You'll see somewhere between 12 and 14 volts. 13.5 is textbook. Now for the second test, we're going to test the evaporator fan motor. Leave your black where it's at, remove the red, and put it right next to the black one on the right. Pin number four. Again, uh, somewhere between 12 and 14 volts is fine, anywhere in that neighborhood. It's actually a variable speed motor, so it may, may flux. The next test, the condenser fan motor. Again, leave the black where it's at, move the red to the right, one pin slot. Now you're on pin number five. Should read between 12 and 14 volts. If your fan motors are not currently running and you want to perform this test, leave either the refrigerator or the freezer door open for three minutes. This puts your uh, board into what's called linear protection and it'll run both fan motors for you. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.